Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe and uh, help me out on my journey and I'll help you out on yours. Today I'm doing a special reading. I'm reading Turkish coffee. Up, see that? There's a lot happening here. So if you want this reading, just claim it. And uh, this could this could potentially be you. Um, you know, I'm I'm reading for the collective. So the people that are gonna watch this, um, will have, probably have some meaning to it. Okay, so let's uh let's get right down to reading this card. Now in the past, I see you. Um, I see one, two. I see two kids and two pets, and a couple. But something happened and there's been a split. I see a, and the split just means, you know, your time had expired as a couple. Okay. It's nothing really bad. It just, it just ended, you know, sometimes there's, you know, you grow apart or sometimes, you know, somebody can come between you, um, and you two, and there's no going back. Home's not there anymore. So you have to move on to a new chapter in your life. And I see this new chapter in your life. You're doing all these new and wonderful things. I see you like down, downhill skiing. I see um, you working with animals. Okay, I see working with animals. I see um, a horse and um, birds. So you're going out for to you're going out in nature. Maybe you bring binoculars around with you and check out all the birds that, um, you know, want to be seen, especially in the winter, right? Um, so I see you incubating an idea. Okay, this idea, maybe for a business, um, is in the incubator. So you're really, you're thinking about what you could be doing in the future and you're, you're creating a whole new life for yourself and but right now it's in the incubation stage okay it's it's still forming and when you're ready it'll come out okay I see an E letter and an S I see um, working very very hard diligently I see you um, maybe up on a stage, maybe you're giving speeches. Um, I see people watching you. Um, some not with good, all good intentions. Some people you uh, watch you just to see what you're up to <laughs> next. Um, but most have good intentions here. Most have really, really good intentions here. I see a proverbial mountain that you're climbing, you know, and when you're climbing that mountain, it's step by step, my dears, step by step to climb that mountain. You're not going to reach it overnight. Uh, you're not going to be, um, you know, but there's definitely a mountain here that you're climbing. And, um, you know, I, I see horses. I see horseback riding again. Um, you know, um, you're climbing this mountain and this mountain means that you have hurdles to overcome and to so you're incubating an idea and you have hurdles overcome before this in, in idea comes to fruition okay so but this does show it does show here that you're on the other side of the mountain okay and that you you've just glided down i think maybe skiing or or stuff riding is a metaphor for something else um maybe it means you you can easily uh, slide down that mountain. <laughs> uh, I don't believe it means that you're on a slippery slope or anything like that. I don't think it's that. I think um, you're you're gliding down the mountain. Uh, you're climbing up it and then gliding down. It's going to be so much easier than you thought, ever thought it would be. So I see here um, a new relationship where two heads come together which means that um, two heads coming together means you're like-minded, okay? Whereas in the past, you had a lot of differences, okay, with your, with, your, with your spouse or your partner. And now I see you really, in this new relationship in the future, I'd say about 
Let's see how many months. I seed R. Um, your heads will literally be together. Like you finish each other's sentences and you haven't even known each other very long because you're both like-minded, okay? You both have the same type of humor. Um, you know, I think he's, he's spiritual like you. Um, you believe in the same things, which is amazing. This is a destined meeting. This is a soulmate. Soulmate, or could be even a twin, okay? Um, and you have so much. Oh, I see an M here. You have so much in common, it's unreal. You do a lot of, you're attached by the, you end up being attached by the hip. Okay. And then you're doing so much together. So don't forget your friends. <laughs> when you meet this new person, have a balanced approach. You're going to have work, your children, you know, um, don't lose touch with your friends because if anything goes wrong with this relationship, you need your friends to pick you back up off the floor. But it doesn't look like it. It looks like this union will um, will end up being just amazing. This is an amazing union. You, you do so much together and so much for the community. He's really, uh, you're both like-minded and want to help out in your own community. Isn't that amazing? But he, he is on the other side of the mountain. You have to climb that mountain for yourself, okay? No one's going to help you. So step by step, step by step. And once you get to that mountain, you're sliding down. You're gliding down, not sliding. Gliding down with ease. Because you just fulfilled yourself. You, you, you want more fulfilling relationships. You want more fulfilling job. Um, and that's exactly what's going to be happening um, in this in this coffee reading. So this is a love reading um, for anybody that's single. I'd say about three or four months time. You won't be single anymore. And, and, and in that three months, make that three months count. You know, work on yourself. Work on your on your diet. On your on your you know, go for walks. Get out there so you can be seen by somebody. Go to Starbucks. Um, or your local coffee shop um you know go out for nature uh walks you know bring your binoculars watch the birds <laughs> um just get out there because you're not going to meet your soulmate sitting at home unless you're co unless of course you're on a dating site and i don't i don't uh do those i think it's very rare that people find their soulmate on a dating site but it does happen it does happen. So whichever way you want um, to find your soulmate, let the universe decide. You know, let the universe decide if you want to put your uh, self on a dating site and say, universe, I'm open. Make sure you tell the universe exactly kind of man you want. So you know how to filter them out when you're when you're um, when you're on a dating site. You know, you you want a specific type of person. Don't settle. OK. Don't settle for um, less than who you are, okay? Because you've come a long way to be the person that you are today. So, um, yeah, so this is very nice reading, okay? Well, thank you, and please like and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out a great deal, and I hope you really like this reading. I'll have more to come. Thank you.